Hey everybody! Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Today we're at the Hole in the Bow Chuck and Gene and Rob and Frank's annual birthday camp. Uh, and Chuck's cooking up some uh, corn venison. Corn venison for St. Patrick's Day. He's cooking it up in the Dutch oven over the fire here and Oh, it's starting to smell real good. And Chuck has agreed to show everybody his latest uh, self bow that he's. How you doing? Uh, I'm making another bow. I want to take one down to Tennessee if I can make it down there this year. I got this stave originally from Gary Davis. And quite a while ago, probably about 09 I think it was. It was uh, just a, a blank piece and I covered it all out. It's got two holes in it. One up next to the fade area. Up, up on, by the handle. And then one in the bottom here. It's still pretty heavy. It's probably maybe it's over three eighths inch, yeah. So it's pretty heavy. I can still start the bend. I haven't put any reflux in it yet or anything, but we're getting there. Um, this is the one that I made a little while ago. And I think you guys have probably seen it already. And it's got the one hole up in the top with the movable place. But about the same length. I got it a little longer so I can shorten it up, make it a little heavier if I need to or whatever. I'm not I'm not sure right now. I'm looking for around maybe 45 pounds. I, I got to a point where I'm not couldn't pull back over 50 pounds so I had to look at making one lighter that's why well not so much this one but the other one I got is about 37 pounds I want to get one up a little higher now Chuck uh, you said you had a plan for that bow when it was finished and shooting in a in a well, competition I'm bringing, it, I'm bringing it down to Tennessee uh, hopefully I can make it down there I'm not positive but that's my game plan right now and we'll, we'll go on the South Pole Challenge. I'll, I got it roughed out. I'll probably do a little bit more because it's pretty heavy right now. It'll probably make a, a 60 pound bowl right now. I'll work it down some more, get it tilted out a little bit, and I'll bring it down to Tennessee, and then I'll finish it for the South Pole Challenge, and then you shoot in the challenge. Well, what, what is a self-boat challenge, for those that don't know? Well, uh, you, you work on a boat down there in, in Pappy's shop. Now, whether you get a safe from Pappy, you bring one down with you, uh, you get one down there from one of the guys that's selling them, and you finish it there. You can bring it, you can work on the boat at home, but no string knots in it. Basically, that's the limitation. They don't want you finishing it at home and bring it down there and shoot. So once you finish it, then you shoot that weekend on a little 40 targets, I believe it is. And you shoot it, and then there's a, the competition just for self bow challenge. Just for folks that, that have made their own bow, finished it at the Classic. Right. And how many shooters did they get for that? Oh, I don't know. I'd probably estimate 30. 30? 30. It, it's, it's a big event, though. There's there's four or 500 or more people yeah. in attendance. A lot of people down there, you probably got 50 guys making bowls, which is the biggest gathering, as far as I know, for bowl makers. You know, there's a couple others around the area. There used to be one up in Canada, in Marshall, and then one down in uh, Missouri, which I've been to once or twice, but and then then there's a the primitive shoot here at at 
Hawkeye. From the shoot here in Hawkeye. Uh, we don't do too much bow making here anymore. I'm gonna try to get back, try to get it back into it a little bit more here. And the Tennessee Classic is a, not only a primitive archery event, but it's a, a traditional archery event. That's it. Correct? Yes. And uh, it's probably one of the largest, other than say Denton Hills or, or one of those uh, uh, in the country. It's the largest for South Bowls. Okay. Gathering, without a doubt, in the, in the States. And it's up to Denton Hills and those guys are getting a lot. Look, he, he gets, oh, he's probably getting five, 600 people down there. Wow, wow. So, so he's got a good good gathering down there. And and, and it, it's a good time? Everybody Whoa. has a good time? Excellent, excellent time. They, uh, uh, not only shoot their bows, but there's other competitions that weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's the bow making, and then I would imagine... A lot of flint napping going on down there, too. Flint napping, the and flint -napping. they also, um, I would imagine, I've never been to it, I'd like to sometime, uh, have some uh, sort of a barbecue or a dinner or oh, something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. They got a good feast going on. On Saturdays, uh, it's a good time without a doubt. And that's held in the early May. First weekend in May. In early May. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Chuck, thank you for showing your latest uh, project. Yep. Until next time, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on trucking and believe in yourself even when no one else does.